Welcome back, Love Nation. This is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. Thank you to everybody that has been coming to my channel. Like this video, share this video, and hit that notification bell so you guys know when I drop my next one. Listen, you guys, we have a very, very um, tragic update to the Keith Lee and Sweetly Sweet Seasoned story I did a few months ago. You guys recall, this is the food truck that Keith Lee visited in which the owner of the truck did not do the right thing with the money. And from there, her business has literally been falling. Her son just made a social media update concerning the condition of his mother as he feels that Keith Lee may have actually scammed him. I'm saying that as a question mark. I am actually going to rewind tape on how this whole situation started. Then I'm going to come back with my commentary and play the very sad remarks that Sweetly Season Son made concerning what happened with her recently. And then I'm going to come back with my commentary, you guys. This is just all the way to the left concerning this whole situation with the sweetly seasoned LLC food truck and like I said before you know um I feel like there's more going on here but I'm about to rewind tape we're going to listen how this entire situation unfolded for anyone that did not catch the story originally then I'm going to come back with my commentary and play the current update you guys I'm about to play it Right now, you guys. What's up, y'all? I bet you're wondering how we got here. Well, let me tell you. So a lot of y'all know yesterday I got to meet Keith Lee. Great. Congratulations. I'm still humbled by the experience. Like, I am ecstatic. Blessings to your family. I really appreciate you. But now this is where the downfall comes in. A lot of y'all was on my live when he said this. I see y'all giving out haircuts. <laughs> And granted, everything was cool, right? Me being me and thinking everybody else is going to have the same genuine heart as me, I charged him $4,000 on his car, meaning all the money went to the food truck in hopes that she would do what she needed to do, right? wrong so after everything had died down mind you on top of him tipping four thousand dollars this man left an extra eight hundred and eighty six dollars to feed everybody else that was coming right right but this is where she went wrong i'm in the truck mind you i'm a worker this is your business so i'm doing what you say she tell me after this person which is the third person that you got to start charging again hmm now, it's one thing when he say, I'm leaving this for free, and for somebody to come and order, like, one of everything on the menu and try to get both desserts and drinks and shit, like, yeah, you can put a limit on that. But if this man left you almost $1,000, why the fuck did you stop handing free food out after the third person? Hmm? Make it make sense. So, all right, everything was cool. It was time to close down. You know, my friend done ran to the store. He helping his mom. He coming out of his pocket with his own money. And I looked at her, and I was like, so... Keith Lee literally just spent $5,200 with you. She was like, girl, I know. I'm so excited. Like, before I got on here, I was broke. And before y'all come for me talking about don't be releasing no personal information, it got personal when you play with my baby brother. So everything was cool, calm, and collect, right? She told me, she said, look, I just want to let you know it'll be about a day or two before you guys get your money. I work with Square. I've been running my business for the past four years with Square, so I know exactly how it works. But if you've been running this business for years, your money going to clear the next day. Correct? So this morning we got up. Mind you, I'm thinking I got to go back to help her because yesterday you ain't have nobody that wanted to work for you. You get what I'm saying? So my friend had me come and help you, and then my brother was really only out there, but you somehow trying to make it seem like my brother was giving free haircuts when he was posting flyers with his pr prices on them. Come on. So then I wake up today. People hit me up talking about, we want to make your menus. We want to make your flyers. da 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 My main thing was I'm not the face of this company. You get what I'm saying? I'm not the face of this company, but I can put you in contact. If you go through my comment section, you will definitely see why I'm tagging her business over and over and over because people thought it was my shit. So I hit her this morning and was like, Kim, you have workers today? Also, there's a guy who's wanted to do your menu and flyers for you, so I'm sending him your number. Who is this? Sherelle. Yes, I have workers for today, and you can send me his info. Thank you. That was it. So I respond back. I will send you his Instagram, and did you see if your money cleared? You can keep the money that was left for me, but my brother is preparing to leave and go back home, and I'm unsure how he'll get it. Once he leaves, 
Granted, all I had to do was send it to her or she could have sent it to him, whatever. She said, please call me back so an agreement can be made. But before we even got to those messages, she called me and she was just like, well, I didn't invite your brother to come out there and cut hair. I didn't invite you. My son invited you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give $1,000 to my son and he'll give y'all whatever it is he see fit out of there. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Now, I did you a solid by saying I get money. When I opened my eyes this morning, I had a deposit for $1,500. You get what I'm saying? And I made money since. So I, I told you to keep my money, but I was more so pressed about the issue of my brother. Keith Lee don't know my brother. My brother don't know Keith Lee. Okay, so you guys just heard from one of the workers that helped Sweetly Seasoned that day that Keith Leaf came. Now I'm actually going to play the owner of Sweetly Seasoned. Her response to this entire drama, just again to rewind tape. Then we're going to get into my commentary as well as the shocking update that was put out by her son earlier today on social media. You guys, this story just is getting more and more crazy at this point. Anyway, I'm about to play the owner's comments to rewind tape. And then continue with my commentary. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son's friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principle. How dare you? Come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetly Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. And I don't know if this was going to make me or break me. I don't know, but I know I got God. And God is the one that told me to go to school. And go to school again. I've been flourishing ever since. I have won chef awards. I have done a lot of things. And I have a lot of upcoming things that I plan on doing. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I want Keith Lee to tell me, after him knowing the truth now, if that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and, and just to let y'all know, she's a scammer. <laughs> Okay, so I just rewound tape to just refresh you guys' memory on what happened. There was a whole lot that happened after that. Keith Lee actually did respond to her. You guys can visit my previous video to see that. Then her business was actually going through a lot. A lot of people were giving her bad reviews. People were just not showing up. It had turned into a complete mess. She did go ahead and issue this apology. She said, Sweetly Seasoned would like to apologize. We thought and believed we were right, but unfortunately we were wrong. This has been a huge miscommunication on our part and all funds are being released. Now, as far as I'm aware, she did release those funds. But like I said, the damage at that point had already been done to her business to a point where the business itself did sink. As you guys can see, if you Google Sweetly Seasoned Food Trailer and Catering, not only did the reviews literally go down as low as they could go, but it had to be permanently closed because of everything that was going on concerning the different behaviors with people um, harassing her, uh, the sales not being where they need to be, and just generally everybody upset with how she handled her blessings. 
Now, the sad part about this is if she had initially just followed his directions, she would have been making money tenfold even after giving away that m money that Keith Lee had asked her to give away to the people that helped as well as the customers. I'm about to play this really sad clip her son put online and come back with my comments. So y'all know my mom is the owner of Sweetie Season Food Truck and since Keith Lee came and visited, her entire world has been changed. She gets non-stop harassment, phone calls, day and night, death threats, all of this But this latest stunt resulted in her attempting to take her own life with us. So long story short, she sends an email to Keith Lee and she kind of lets him know what happened since his visit. Two days later, she gets a message saying, you know, this is on behalf of Keith Lee and his family. We want to come out there for a visit. Um, sorry about what happened last time. And let's, you know, bring all the parties together and come up with another resolution. My mom was on board. She's willing to do anything to stop, you know, all of the harassment and stuff. I'm like, okay, great. You know, I'll do whatever you need me to do. Just let me know. Um, so she was in contact with Keith Lee the entire time planning everything. Um, the only thing that he asked her to pay for was a barber. He was like, if you uh, pay the deposit for the barber, um, it's only $300. You know, I'll in return pay for food for three hours free for everybody in the community. So she's like, cool. So yesterday was the day of the free grand opening. And, you know, she gave away free food for three hours. We're looking good after, you know, every uh, a couple hours go by where they're headed. The barber hasn't shown up for us, you know. I'm like, what time do Keith Lee say he was getting here? She's like, well, he said him and his team will get here around 2.45. I'm like, what's 3.45? I'm like, why is he late? You know, she's like, I don't know. She's trying to contact him. Um, he's like, you know, um, the plane just landed an hour ago. Everybody, we're all together. We'll be there. So we're still giving out free food. I was just waiting. Your keep me never showed up. Your barber never showed up. It was all a scam. She lost thousands of dollars. She had to pay for the lot where she had. She lost all the food. She gave away all the money. She spent on all the food that had us to probably. Okay, so you guys just heard that really sad update, and I am going to say this. Keith Lee is actually not known to ask people to provide money uh, in order to get him to come to their uh, place of business. So I'm a little suspicious on that. Um, I'm actually very eager to see if the email or phone number could be verified in the situation before I jump to conclusions. But as far as I'm aware, uh, Keith Lee does not solicit owners to um, buy things in order to have it done ahead of time before he gets there. So I'm actually wondering if he was legitimately talking to Keith Lee or if it was a scammer that he was in contact with. The second issue is that, you know, social media is a wild beast, honestly. It's a wild beast. And people going up to her business and doing and saying and leaving messages the way they were are completely inappropriate and, you know, that behavior should not be done. Um, but... You know, now that we live in this day and age where people will build you up and just as quickly tear you down, a lot of things that initially went wrong with this should not have went wrong in the first place. I'm definitely going to say prayers to this lady and her family. Nobody should have to go through this. If there is a further update to this situation, I will definitely be coming back because I want to know where those emails actually came from, you guys. Leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe. Till next time, be safe, enjoy your night. Bye, guys.